welcome guys so in this video i'm going to show you how you can dual boot chrome os on an amd ryzen device and before proceeding if you're new to this channel and want more content like this please hit the subscribe button so let's get started so first we're going to install wsl on our system so open the terminal as admin and we're going to type wsl the install command all the commands will be on the screen and also i'll put the links in the description if you want to read the more detailed article about it so th this will install all the necessary uh, binaries that are needed now we need to download this branch uh, this branch file so visit this link and finally the recovery image so we're going to install for ryzen so i'm going to search for zork and then just choose the latest recovery and we also need this graph 2 win file so just visit this website and under the file section just hit on the, uh, the zip file and it will download automatically and uh, now we need to create the partition so we will open the disk management and I have the D drive so I'm going to right click and shrink it and uh, make a partition of 55 GB so make a partition of the multiple of 11 as it is uh, mostly written in the instruction and then we're going to create a new volume out of the 55 GB so create a new folder named chrome os and put all the files that you have downloaded the branch file and the recovery file inside uh, inside that folder and now you will see in your uh, rest, uh, like recent you will see the ubuntu this is the app that has been installed by uh, the wsl command and here we will type this command this will update our repository and also download some files that we will use it to unzip the uh, the two files that we downloaded earlier now we will mount the folder that we have the files in so take note of the location of the file for me it is in the d drive here we will use the cd command to mount the directory now we will unzip the branch file so we will run this command tar zxvf and now we need the name of the file so we will go to the file manager we need the name of the branch file so and also make sure you enable this so extension otherwise you will not see the full name of the file so copy all the name and paste it here and after hitting enter it will start the extraction process now we will use the unzip command to unzip the recovery image so copy the name of the recovery image and uh, after unzip just paste the name of the file and it will start the unzipping process in the new drive that we created for chrome os we need to create a folder so just create a folder named branch or it can be anything so create a new folder and in the ubuntu we need to type this command I mistyped chrome os as only chrome so i will fix it later after src we need the name of the the recovery file so after unzipping the recovery file you will get this bin image so we need to copy this and we need to paste it in the after the src and then we will type hyphen dst and here we need to mount the name of the directory so for me it is e and then inside the folder so i will type mnt e and then the name of the folder followed by chrome os dot img now we need to enter the size of the partition so i've created a 55 gb for me it's showing 53 
so i will type 52 so type a, a gb let like lower so this command did not run well because i had a mistype so i'm going to correct and then again and this time it will start creating the partition so make sure you type in the correct follow the correct uh, command and after that you will see this uh, prompt so you need to type here dual boot and it is showing us this instruction of what we need to do later before proceeding we need to make sure our secure boot is turned off so go to your bio setting and under advanced setting in the security tab you will see if you scroll down it may be different for your device and we need to disable the secure boot and then save and exit otherwise the grub 2 win will not work and now you will see the under the partition we have this new grub text this we will use later so now we need to install the grub 2 win so i have extracted the grub 2 win in this folder and just launch dexc and uh, the installation will like uh, begin it's gonna download and install and it, it will take a like some amount of time and you will see this prompt a couple of time So after it has done installing you will see this and then it will clean up the files and finally we can after some time see this main screen and here we need to go to the manage boot option and then create a new entry and we will name it chrome os under the type we will select create user section now it will open up this notepad and in the instruction you can see we need to copy the the grub txt that we have in the partition we need to paste that code here so first locate that code and copy all of the content and then just paste the whole code here and you can exit out of it and then just save it and you will give get this uh, success message and we are done for the this part the red box will turn into green and it will show that the grub 2 win is now the default boot manager you can change the graphics to 1080 so it looks more sharper and also you can choose the uh, change the boot order so the grub 2 win is already set as the first uh, to boot so it's all done now you can just exit out of it you need to make sure your hibernation and fast startup is disabled so open up the command prompt and just copy and paste this command this will disable the hibernation and to disable the fast startup we will need to make some changes to the registry so in the run command type reg edit we need to find the hyper boot option so follow the path that is shown on the screen We need to right click on the hyper boot option and modify and change the value to zero and then save it then you can restart your device to save the settings now when restarting we will see this dual boot logo and we just need to choose chrome os and then installation will begin and you will see this branch framework and this will take a long time maybe above 15 to 30 minutes so have patience and then finally you will see the chrome logo and you just need to set it up like uh, the normal and uh, try to use a secondary google account as this is not an official chrome os and then you're all set and you, you can see we are in the chrome os you just need to make sure your startup and uh, hibernation is disabled 
otherwise you will be stuck on that friend in the branch framework boot logo so you can see the play store is working and uh, also everything is normal in the google assistant and even the wi-fi is working so no issues and yes this is how you dual boot on an amd device so if this video was helpful hit the like button and uh, i will see you in the next one